Washington, D.C. to central Indiana, where it's not raining yet as we take a live look here at the State House, but there is a potential once again tonight. Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown joining us now. Rinse and repeat, huh? Yeah, you know, we've had an active day so far today. We've had showers and thunderstorms. Some heavier downpours of rain have moved our way today. Um, now what we have is a storm complex that's moving out, um, and we're watching the atmosphere to see if we get a, in on those kind of pop-up showers that mm -hmm. we've had the last few days. So yeah. um, as far as the severe threat, I believe that's slowly coming to an end. Um, we still have a thunderstorm watch still out for some counties as we look here. This is um, a live view of our radar. You can see most of the severe components have already moved out of the state in parts of Kentucky there and even Tennessee. As we zoom in, thunderstorm watch still out until 8 p.m. for uh, Ripley County to Washington County over into uh, parts of Jasper, Indiana there. The showers that are lingering are very light to moderate showers. They're not very impressive at all. You can see the light rain sitting uh, just east of Greensburg now. A few minutes ago, those showers were sitting in Greensburg, uh, Madison, Indiana, with some rain for you. A few strikes of lightning still left in the state, but as we dry out and clear out here, I know it seems like it's a great thing to dry out and clear out. We're still going to watch the chance for these kind of pop-up thunderstorms now. I do think that we diminish the severe components with these storms, but uh, we will see the threat. 84 degrees feels like 88, a dew point that's high. You know, we knocked these temperatures down quite a bit uh, with a pretty good shower that slid over the area. And now we're starting to rebound, and we're doing that very quickly. Winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour remaining light and out of the south. This is our forecasting model. This is one of two that I'll show you tonight. Uh, but you can see the showers and thunderstorms kind of sliding through, popping up here tonight. So I mentioned the chance of a pop-up shower or storm. This model is saying, hey, at 7.30, at 8 o'clock, um, showers could still pop up for us. The best chance for that is still south of Interstate 70. Tomorrow morning, waking up uh, to a system that's a bit more impressive here. I think initially, you'll wake up to numbers in the 70s with a stray shower, but uh, numerous showers are possible. So tomorrow, it's an active day. As we warm things up again, seeing temperatures in the 90s once again. 90s feeling like the triple digits, so the humidity staying with us. This is the threat for severe weather. The entire state under a threat. We have now upgraded tomorrow to a slight risk. If you uh, have been watching us, then you know that we didn't have um, South Bend, I believe, in the South Risk, uh, in the risk yesterday. And on Friday, we didn't have a risk at all. And now we have a marginal risk for Friday. So. We're going to attract severe storms. As we look at Futurecast, our forecasting model here, you will notice that a line of showers and thunderstorms will slide in on Thursday morning. This broken line of storms will move through, bringing some heavier downpours of rain. The severe threat, I believe, grows in the afternoon hours with this second line of storms that will move through. That's moving through during the afternoon and evening hours, bringing the primary threat. So if a thunderstorm warning is issued, wind, damaging wind is a primary concern here with these storms as they move through. Showers will be on and off throughout the day on Thursday and on and off throughout the day on Friday. I do think that the risk for severe weather is much lower on Friday as we see these showers kind of spin around that low. Um, there's the risk for Friday. It is new. Um, that risk, including areas south of Kokomo, temperatures in the low 80s on Friday as we cool things down a bit. Rain chances will diminish as well. Hensley Legal Group, seven-day forecast. We're going to drop off those rain chances on Saturday afternoon, bringing you a main mainly dry Sunday and warm things up again by the uh, midweek next week as we bring back 90 degree heat and humidity.